Alright, so the next thing that we need to do, <clears throat> actually the first thing we need to do once we've installed um, Ubuntu, is we need to install SSH um, for Ubuntu. And what SSH is going to do is it's going to allow us to remote into our machine and have full access to it. Okay, And when I say remote in, I don't mean we're going to be able to see the desktop. I mean we're going to be able to see our terminal. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Linux, and you're probably not watching this, but everything you can do, you can do from the command line. So we're going to install uh, SSH by sudo, uh, super user. We're going to use apt-get, which is how you get software. Install open SSH uh, server. And we're going to do also open SSH client. All right and enter our password and almost done okay so that's done so what we need to do now is test this out. So first thing we need to know what our IP address is. Okay. Uh, so this machine is not uh, outside yet because we haven't set it up on our router, which we'll do in a minute. First, let's find out what our internal IP address is. Now this is the internal IP address of the virtual machine. So we're going to do if config, and we're going to see that our IP address is that. Okay, so let's copy that. Well, you can't control C. Ah. I'm not familiar with my keyboard shortcuts yet. Copy. Okay, so what we're going to do is to the way you SSH is you can do SSH localhost, right? And that is my loopback. And it's going to ask me uh, if we want to save our key for our, for our fingerprint. You say yes. Okay, and now we're going to enter our password. Okay, so now we've actually SSH'd in, which kind of doesn't do anything because we're it's our loopback. So now we're going to do SSH uh, with um, what we copied, which is the supposed IP address. And this is the first time I'm trying this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is again now we're a different IP address. So yes to save. Okay, so now we've logged in again using that IP address. So uh, experiment with me here for a second. I think. We should be able to SSH in from Mac now. So this is on Mac, okay? Uh, and let's see if we can SSH. Uh, that was 192.192.168.87.128. Let's see what happens. Okay, verify. Yes. Password. Okay, so now this green means that I have successfully SSH in the machine. So let's just show, for example, uh, let's go ahead and pull up places and pull up my home folder, and let's make a new file in here, uh, create document, empty file, and we're just call this uh, test file, right? Uh, by the way, you can make files by using the touch command in uh, in Linux. So we're going to pull up here, and let's go ahead and we're going to see where we are, PWD. Okay, and we're in slash, so we're in the right place. Let's do ls, and you can see there's our test file right there. So if we want to actually create another one, we can say touch new file dot, dot uh, well, just touch new file, right? And if you see, bam, new files were created on Linux. So we have SSH'd in uh, from Mac over to here. Okay, I figure we'll just go ahead and continue this and get SSH working so you can remote into your virtual machine from outside the network. I had to learn this real quick. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually set up the virtual machine to port forward. Okay, so to do that, um, the easiest thing to do is to pull up Finder and go to slash library application support VMware Fusion VMNet8 and then nat.conf Go ahead and open that with Text Wrangler. If you don't have it, go get it. It's free. Um, it's going to be this right here. So first thing we need to do is we need to find out what our IP address is. Okay. So to do that, um, I showed you in the last one, but we'll applications, accessories, terminal, and we'll say if config, and our IP address is this number right here, right? So what we'll do is we will uh, type that in. So, but we need to tell you what port we're forwarding to first. So we're gonna we're gonna make up a port. We'll say 22 is normally SSH, but we'll save that in case we want to SSH into our Mac by default. So we'll give us 8022. Okay, equals that IP address, which is 
1.0.87.128. And now what port? So this is this is the um, this is the internal port. And now no, this is the external port. And now we say what internal port? Well, SSH is over port 22. So the internal port 22, which is the Linux port 22, to my external Mac port 8022. Okay, so save that. And in order to save this, usually it's going to ask you for your password. I think I already had it open, so it didn't. Okay, after you make changes to this file, okay, you need to open up Terminal, and you need to go to, well, you need to restart the VMware NetStat service. So to do that, we're going to sudo, and then slash library. Now, I'm going to hit tab, and it's going to fill in the word library for me, and then application support, tab again, it's going to fill it in, slash vm, going to fill it in for me again by hitting tab, and then slash boot dot sh dash dash restart, and it's going to go ahead and run this, okay, and that's done. So, then what we need to do is actually pull up our router here, so we're going to go to, I have a Linux router, or uh, Linksys router, so 192.168.1.1, and it's going to ask you for your username and password. I've already entered it. Uh, we're going to go to Applications and Gaming. And, oh, I already have it in here from earlier. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves VM SSH. We're going to say our external port is going to be, uh, well, let's talk about the internal port first. That 8022, that matches this 8022. The external port of Linux matches the internal port of Mac. Okay? And then 8022 is our external port. So when we SSH from outside the world, we're going to use 8022 to SSH in. Now, this all this forwards to this local IP address. So if I actually pull up my Mac and if I do um if I do IP or if config on my Mac now, right? I see that my IP address is that 111, okay? So we're basically saying forward port 8022 to the internal port 8022 uh, to my 111 which is my computer and then and then uh, Linux goes hey 8022 is coming in let's take this IP address and throw it through 22 which is going to be our SSH I know it's complicated but this is what works okay so there's that and then go ahead and save your settings and it's going to take 15 seconds to restart the last step is to find out what our external IP address is. So I'm just going to go to what is my IP.com, and this is my external IP address to the world. So this is how I would get into my computer from the world. And so what I'll do is I'll do SSH, SSH, that IP address to the world, now dash P, so I can specify the port which we said was 8022. And that will ask me for a password. Hit enter, and now I'm on my Ubuntu. So again, I can do my ls, and there are these, uh, there's those files that we met earlier. So we've actually SSH'd from outside the world into our Mac, into our virtual machine. Okay? Again, this won't work if the virtual machine's powered off. But as long as the virtual machine's powered on and it's got the same IP address, okay, we didn't discuss setting up static IP addresses, but for now, this will work just fine. So now from outside the world, if you knew my password, you could SSH into my virtual Linux uh, machine.